Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to a new blog post, Microsoft is declaring that this year, 2025, is going to be the year of the Windows 11 PC refresh. And here's the blog post dated yesterday, the 6th of January. And it's quite an in-depth post, so there's quite a lot going on here. So I'll leave this uh, linked in the description if you'd like to go check this out for some more info. But as you can see that Microsoft is using CES 2025, which is the Consumer Electronics Show, basically as a platform to encourage people who are still using Windows 10 to move on to Windows 11. Now, in this paragraph here at the top of the post, Microsoft is saying that 2024 will be remembered as a transformative year when many experience the unique benefits of AI in practical application, pushing the boundaries of what's possible on a Windows PC at work, at school, and at home. So part of Microsoft's pushing of Windows 11, um, according to this blog post, uh, basically involves drawing attention to the fact that Windows 10 is reaching its end of life later this year in October. So we've just got a couple of months left, uh, according to Microsoft, before that happens, meaning that the operating system will not be supported, so it won't get any security and quality updates. So basically, Microsoft, um, uh, their vision for everyone and what they should do is they need to move from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So that would be small businesses, large organizations, individuals, and so on. So everybody across the board. And this post, this blog post highlights some interesting information in regards to that. Now, Microsoft's hopes for Windows 11's increased adoption is based on an RDC report that was released in June of last year, 2024 that makes a, quite a bold prediction. So for this, we're just going to head down to this paragraph where they mention uh, the report. So Microsoft is using this report. They say, according to RDC, nearly 80% of businesses are planning to refresh their PC portfolio by the end of 2025, and 70% of consumers will refresh their PCs in the next two years emphasizing the increasing demand for secure, advanced, AI-enabled hardware that Windows 11 PCs provide. They carry on to say, and with new apps added every day, developers are harnessing the power of AI to bring innovative experiences to Windows 11 and Copilot Plus PCs such as ChatGPT and our native Copilot app. Windows 11 app experiences will continue to evolve, providing even greater functionality and clear benefits for our customers and that's according to Microsoft who's using the RDC report as basically their hope for that increased adoption from Windows 10 to Windows 11 over the next two years or so. Now if we head down to this paragraph Microsoft mentions something very interesting which I'm sure is going to cause quite a bit of debate. They say, we believe that Windows 11 is available at a time when the world needs it most, okay, providing advanced AI capabilities, and they're off focusing on AI as they push mainly on Copilot Plus PCs, and they also say modern security benefits. So AI and security are Microsoft's kind of um, playing cards when it comes to moving people on from Windows 10 to Windows 11, according to this report. And... It looks like 2025 is going to be an interesting year for Windows 11, according to these statements made by Microsoft. But me personally, I think that Microsoft needs to continue its efforts to fix the problems that were caused last year in 2024, mainly with Copilot Plus PCs and the recall feature. And also Windows 11 24H2's update, the feature update, was plagued and is still plagued with a lot of bugs and instability and problems which are almost experienced on a day-to-day -day basis um, on Windows 11 24H2 and many others. So I think Microsoft needs to fix its problems that were started last year and restore its user trust I think before they do make very bold claims. I think just getting what they have working and functioning properly before they are st starting to push a whole lot of users from Windows 10 onto Windows 11 or are 
are strongly encouraging that move, I think they need to kind of fix what they have first and then move on to pushing Windows 10 users to Windows 11. And it's going to be interesting to see if Microsoft actually does end support in October of this year. I personally don't think they will. But as with Microsoft, only time will tell. And let me know what you think down below uh, in the comments. I think I'm going to see some interesting comments regarding the blog post. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.